and creating equality throughout this moment. So again, we are also have a dream. Our dream, as you have seen, as the objectives. Let me read the objectives one more time. When we founded this organization, the mission statement was to preserve, promote, propagate, and perpetuate Indian classical fine arts. And our objectives were our organizing Anamacharya Aradhana festivals, which we have been doing since 1989, presentation of music and dance concerts, again, we have accomplished significantly and progressing forward, organizing lectures on life and works of Anamacharya, Many famous uh, literary scholars have spoken on Anamacharya, including Kamisep Srinivasadu, who is one of the founders and uh, initiators of Anamacharya Project. Sri Madhasani Mohan, who is currently the director of Anamacharya Project in Tirupati, and other various scholars. Preparation of audiovisual materials. In the past, we have made cassettes by Dr. Nehru Nuri Krishna Muthigaru, Dr. Balamari Krishna, Padma Bhushan, Nukala Chanasar Sinarana, Sri Kalapurna Dr. Chitty Babu, and Parakrishna Prasad, Sri Anamacharya Vikramaya. In so doing, we were propagating the music of Anamacharya. And recently, all the artists who have performed for us, uh, among uh, Ms. Bantukrama, Dr. Bantukrama yesterday, also left some classes for further, furthering Anamacharya lyrics. And the next one is, is the establishment of an Anamacharya Project Research Center. We have also partially accomplished that in that we have all the volumes of Anamacharya that are published ever in Tirupati uh, Devasthana. And we, we have been the resource for all over the country and all over the world for information on Anamacharya who want to know more in detail of the new information that is available. The last two are the parts of the dream, are the sapna we want to accomplish. One is a creation of museum and archives of Anamacharya compositions. And last but not the least, is the dream ever to come true, is establishment of sanctuary for Indian cultural traditions, also called Chicago Kala Bharati. We'd like to develop a museum which has all the elements that can reflect our Indian classical traditions. Towards that, we had a veena uh, given by uh, Dr. Chitty Babu and other ones. So we want to collect and also information and materials from all these legends so we can, our children of next generations and generations to come will be proud of their heritage and will be proud of their contributions further to come. I thank you all for being part of the Sapna family and we welcome all of you. If you can, please spread the message and have others participate and join this family. Thank you all and please enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you.